Hello everyone, Tim Brown, welcome back to my Apple Podcast. And I'm just sitting here this evening, relaxing and relaxing, uh, fooling around with all my Apple devices and, and what have you. My wife's not around, she's out of town on business, and I'm sitting here trying to figure out a way to entertain myself. And so, what better way to do that than with a glass of wine and also with your Mac or with your iPad. So I'm actually using both, but mainly my iPad because I came across another application that, I don't know, enabled me to have some fun, enabled me to experiment and be creative without even having any skill. Of course, that's a problem because when you're about to give a podcast or a video demo, it helps if you know what you're doing. <laughs> and, and I have to honestly admit, I, I do not know what I'm doing with this application. And I don't think you really need to know what you're doing. You just need to be able to let loose, have some fun, and be willing to experiment. What am I talking about here? I'm talking about an application for the iPad that enables you to create beats, different types of sounds, where you can be very creative in how you mix it all up. What's the name of the app? It's called Auxi. Auxi for the iPad. It's brilliant. Now, if you've checked my channel before, you know that I've reviewed other applications where you can mix sounds and, and create all different kinds of beats, but this one's unique. So let's check it out. They give me a little glass of wine here. Get myself in the mood so that I can relax and actually at least pretend like I know what I'm doing. Okay, so you're looking at the app Oxy, and it's basically a grid format here with four headings up above. So the top left is where you have your bass beats, or I'm sorry, I mean your drum beats. Next to that, your bass beats, and then the two columns on the right are your lead columns. Now under each column, or in each column, there are these individual cells. You can tap on any one of those cells to begin creating beats. It's basically going to pop up another window, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap on the first menu where it says drums, and I'm going to select, stick with the first option, and I'm going to double tap on a cell. It's going to bring up another window, of course. And you can see a bar is going back and forth because it's about ready to play a beat. And I'm going to randomly select cells to create a pattern of sound. So every time I tap on the screen, it's going to create a sound. So now I have a nice little pattern or beat. So I clicked done, got out of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and create a pattern or beat on top of that one. So I'm going to go to bass. Check out my menu first and see what other kind of options I can play around with. Doesn't really matter because I have no idea what they're going to do. Maybe choose this one. Dribble. Double tap. Brings up the window once again. And I'm now going to go ahead and once again choose a pattern. Okay, I mean, it's, it could be better. You can just tap on any color to get rid of them. So maybe I can find another pattern that sounds a little better. Okay, that's good enough for now. So now I have two beats playing side by side. Pretty cool. You know, not bad for the amateur, right? Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and choose the third column here, which is one of the two lead columns. And I'm gonna double tab and bring up another menu there. And, Try some patterns here. It's kind of different though, isn't it? It's different. I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna go with there for a while and see if maybe if I can find something else in the other lead column that can create something that sounds interesting. Let's look at the menu here. Um, how about egg? I'll choose egg, double tap on the cell, bring up the menu once again, and now I'm going to try and choose another pattern of some sort. I think I need a little glass of wine to kind of get me in the mood here. All right, Tim, work your magic, baby, work your magic. Um, Maybe 
me tap on it. Maybe I can get a different sound by choosing another one of the menu options here. So it's not bad. It's a nice little beat. And you can continue to vary it by adding additional cells. But you can only choose one cell at a time in each column. So for example, if I was to go to, say, the drum column in column one, double tap on the cell, and create another pattern, I could do that. If it sounds better, I can just stick with that one. But if I don't like that new pattern at all, I can just go back to the first one again. And what's nice too is that you can check, select one of those little white boxes in the right corner of each column to silence one of those beats. So you can isolate sounds in that way. You know what's really great too is that you can record your beats as well. Yeah, really cool. And you can save them to Dropbox or, or even import them into iMovie. So this is how it works. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop that for a moment. Hit the record button. My beats are kind of flashing right now. I'm going to go ahead and tap on one to start activating them. Because I'm now recording. I'm just going to gradually add one in. Because I'm live now, I'm actually recording. Well, I'm recording on top of a recording on top of a recording, if that makes any sense. But you kind of get the idea. So I'm recording my own beat now. Now, if I was to stop that recording, you'll see I get a menu option that appears. And I can actually save this to Dropbox by selecting export or I can import it right into iMovie. Just imagine if you already have a movie set up, take this baby, import that in, you got a nice little soundtrack. Yeah, good to go. Real awesome application. Love it. Fantastic. I would encourage you to download it. It's called Oxy for the iPad. I want to grab me some wine and continue relaxing and chilling. Maybe I can come up with some other beats. Maybe you can come up with some too. Uh, <laughs> I'm Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of My Apple Podcast. Check me out next time.